I am Kanis Fatima, a faculty of juridical science from Rama University. Today we will uh, study the company law 2013. Today our topic is formation of the company. Define it section 3 company law. The company may be formed for any lawful purpose, not a illegal purpose. So in case of the company defined there, there are three types of a company. Number one, public company, the form is the public company. Public company uh, as a private limited company and the formation of public company minimum 7% and more than. The formation of public company minimum 7% and more than person and means minimum um, required a person of company is a public only 7 and more person. Second is a private company. If a private company, people are required two and more person. Not that uh, else. Two and more person private companies is required. And is the, it is a section defined of the company law act two subsection 68. Third is a one person company. If you are going one person company, the required one person company, it is a one person. But where the company to be found in to be one person, but it is a sole director and sole proprietor company. So we need a nominee. We need a nominee. So if one person company, where the company to be formed into be one person, only one person. Requirements, public company, seven person requirements and only three directors. Number two, private company. Private company a two person requirement and director in only two. But one person company requirement only one director. The sole director and sole shareholders must purpose a person on his and her nominee. Section 3A define if any time the number of members of a company uh, is re reduced in the case of a public company to seven below seven and in case of a private company below uh, two so company carries our business for more than only six months now we will define a stages of formation of company it is a four stages of formation of company number one promotion number two incorporation of company number three capital raising and the last commencement of business section 269 define a promoters who will be consider of promoter so this qualities seven qualities are considered uh, a man who, who is a promoter so who is a promoter promoter he is an idea and uh, give or take uh, advice and interested of the business commencement. So, and this is the qualities having a uh, promoter. Number one, has been named or promoter, has been named as promoter in the prospectus and annual meetings. Then, control the affairs of company control the affairs of company directly and indirectly control the affairs of company directly and indirectly then give advice director uh, subscribers uh, uh, board of members in each board of members next is one professional capacity a promoter having a professional capacity by rendering service for the professionals then Next, uh, fifth number is a uh, professional capacity. Then, uh, at last, uh, specific project, uh, project and purpose. A specific project and purpose undertake to uh, form a company for a specific purpose and project. So, as a engaged or interested uh, in the formation of company and give a uh, advice and give a ideas new innovations uh, so he 
called a he consider as a promoter he is a consider as a promoter in a simple terms we convey it uh, person who forms the company a person who forms the company are known as a promoter it is a it is they who convicts the uh, the idea of formality or uh, the camp company the idea of formality of the company uh, the all necessary okay now it is a <coughs> now it is a second topic incorporation of company section 7 declare incorporation of company it is a seven uh, six stages of uh, filing of the document and information with the registrar number 1 moa and aoa with the registrar signed by all the subscribers first of all the first copy is moa and aoa with the registrar signed by all subscriber because <coughs> then second is a declaration by ca cs and board of directors ca cs and board of directors so uh, uh, now uh, give a declaration declaration form fill up the declaration form uh, uh, so that uh, now i declare in this stages uh, uh, in this document uh, uh, he is not a uh, never guilty and confined in any uh, situations then ca and cs uh, or board of directors uh, declare all registration requirement by act fulfilled all in this document all registration requirement fulfilled a give a declaration form ca cs and board of directors then declaration of subscriber subscriber given a uh, form he is uh, a declare form uh, he is not convicted and not uh, guilty of uh, Uh, found at least uh, minimum uh, minimum five years beyond. Uh, uh, it is a true document. Give a not any false statement. It is uh, all documents and all statements are true. Next one is a particular name and address. Particular name and address means particular name and address. Uh, uh, directors name and name and address. Uh, so directors name, promoters name, all subscribers name, and it is a DIN numbers, address, nationality, identity, or uh, director and first directors. Uh, all documents, uh, identifications, uh, give a registrar with MOA and AOA. documents so it's all document file in the registrar office with moa and aoa and declaration by ca cs board of directors and subscribers particular name and address then address of correspondence office uh, where are situated office and uh, uh, sites and uh, his address okay next uh, correspondence office the, uh, after then uh, give a affidavit affidavit by uh, board of directors all subscribers uh, give a affidavit uh, with uh, mo and aoa and declaration declaration forms uh, subscribers we are uh, directors uh, affidavit uh, says is everything is uh, true documents everything is um, all the documents is true not any false uh, statements uh, according to my knowledge to so give a uh, registrar office in these documents uh, filling the registrar office then next uh, uh, point is uh, capital raising capital raising capital raising says means uh, uh, it is a capital of the public Uh, and share share markets uh, and uh, collection of uh, funds uh, and uh, um, issue of uh, share certificate uh, and issue of uh, uh, um, uh, debentures okay so then uh, capital raising is a uh, three to five stages is a capital raising number 1 okay number 1 board of meeting all directors generate a board of meetings all director generate a board of meetings then uh, he is decide uh, uh, it is of funds okay then second is 
সেখানে ইস্যু অফ প্রসপেক্টাস ইস্যু অফ প্রসপেক্টাস সল ইস্যু অফ প্রসপেক্টাস আফটার দ্যাট কালেকশন অফ অ্যাপ্লিকেশন ফর্মস issue of prospectus prospectus uh, uh, can be uh, issue is a public uh, domain then collection collection of application next one is collection of application then issue of share certificate all the member of registered and fill of the yes register of members moa and aoa moa and aoa and last is last is the commencement commencement after issue of certificate information on registration the registrar on the basis of document and information filed shall uh, shall register all the documents and informations in the register and issue of uh, certificate of incorporation then in corporation of issue of incorporation certificate in the prescribed for to the effect that the proposed company in incorporate under this act to give a certificate uh, Uh, certificate of incorporation certificate of incorporation is says a cin number a cin number is an apprehension uh, number allotted to the company uh, apprehensions of number allotted to the company uh, it is a alpha numeric number alpha numeric number alpha numeric number cin number to the date of uh, its registration by the registrars of company CIN number is automatically allotted automatically allotted before uh, after in this uh, particular uh, stages uh, given us when it is uh, incorporated and uh, appreciated by the register of company allotment of uh, uh, corporate identity number then register shall allot to the company of incorporation company of incorporation and last is a uh, step of uh, incorporation so just a uh, commencement commencement is a fulfill of the incorporation of company the company entitled a, a person of uh, uh, legal entity a person of uh, uh, body corporate and uh, a person of uh, in the registration of company a person of succession separate legal entity and the incorporated of company uh, it is a uh, 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 body corporate and a, a use a common seal uh, sell a transfer of uh, shares and uh, uh, sell and buy a property then artificial judicial person increase of uh, given a, a cin number okay so it is a last my point uh, commencement commencement a business commencement uh, before uh, after uh, incorporation of company effect of registration section 9 define is in the date of registration company have entitled a legal uh, body uh, can be sue and can acquire a property and sell property then uh, this is a formation of the company uh, okay it is a all set formation of company